Yeah, remember why we got into Afghanistan? It's been a 20-year war. Remember what happened 20 years ago next month? The Saudis attacked us. Nine Eleven families pressure Biden to de- declassify U.S. files on the Saudi role. Family members of the victims of September 11th attacks are opposing U.S. President Joe Biden's participation in memorial events unless he declassifies government documents that they contend will show Saudi, will show Saudi Arabian leaders supported the attacks. I thought we already had that evidence. Now, I know there's a shit ton of stuff that was redacted from the 9-11 Commission report, but I thought the report itself pretty much said, yeah, the Saudis supported it. Victims' family members, joined by first responders and survivors of the attack, released a letter on Friday as the attack's 20th anniversary nears, calling on Biden to skip this year's memorial events unless he releases the documents. 20 years later, there is simply no reason, unmerited claims of national security or otherwise, to keep this information secret. You're here. But if President Biden reneges on his commitment and sides with the Saudi government, we would be compelled to publicly stand in objection to any participation by his administration in any memorial cere- uh, ceremony of 9 11. What the showdown we have here. I'm not expect. I'm expecting Biden to skip it as opposed to actually releasing the documents. In total, about 1,700 people directly affected by the September 11th attacks signed the letter. The Saudi embassy in Washington did not immediately respond to a request by Reuters for comment. Saudi Arabia has insisted it had no role in the attacks. 14 of the 19 hijackers were Saudis. Family members of the September 11th victims have long sought U.S. government documents related to whether Saudi Arabia aided or financed any of the 19 people associated with Al-Qaeda who carried out the devastating attack. I'm going to have to go back and look at this shit. I thought it was well known. Al-Qaeda operatives crashed three commercial jet planes into the Twin Towers of New York's World Trade Center. I'm sure I don't have to recap that. Everybody knows that. White House officials have had several meetings with groups representing the September 11th families regarding their document requests. Our hearts are with the families who lost loved ones on 9-11, especially in these days preceding the 20th anniversary of the attacks coming up just next month, Jen Psaki said. During a White House press briefing on Friday, Biden is committed to work constructively on resolving issues through the Justice Department related to making public still secret U.S. documents, she said. On Thursday, a group of influential U.S. senators announced support for a bill that would push the Justice Department, the CIA, the Director of National Intelligence, to release additional information about the September 11th attacks. The United States government is sitting on any documents that may implicate Saudi Arabia in the events of 9-11. These families and the American people have a right to know, said Senator Bob Menendez, a Democrat from New Jersey, who is chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Fucking A. 15 of the 19 hijackers. I said 14. It was 15 of the 19 hijackers were from Saudi Arabia. The U.S. government commission found no evidence that Saudi Arabia directly funded al-Qaeda. It left open whether individual Saudi officials may have. Saudi Arabia is being sued for billions of dollars by the families of roughly 2,500 of those killed and by more than 20,000 people who suffered injuries, businesses, and various insurers. So, Biden, that's your invite to the 20th anniversary memorial. I'm sure that's going to be a very big thing for your administration. Are you going to do it? Are you going to show up? You didn't show up at Obama's birthday over the weekend. I don't know if you were invited or not. 